Hey guys, what's up guys? I want to tell you this amazing story about how God spoke to me one day about preaching on airplanes. I was on a flight over the night into Norway, into Oslo, and as we landed, I think it was six o'clock their time in the morning, we had flown uh, most of the night over there, and man, I want to tell you, as I was getting up out of my seat, I felt God tell me through His Spirit, man, tell everybody that I love them. Tell them about my love. And I was thinking to myself, wow, God, it's six o'clock in the morning. I mean, it's maybe not the right time. And, and I, I began to feel uh, just the Lord's love and compassion for the people that were on the airplane. And, and I began to feel his boldness rise up in me. And I began to feel his spirit speaking to me. Tell them how much I love them. And I was like, wow, God, I mean, these people are just getting up. They're just wiping their eyes. They're just uh, getting up after a night of sleep. They probably don't want to hear uh, me uh, speaking kind of loudly the word of God. And, and God began, I began to say, God, is this really the right time? Man, I felt God tell me, man, he is always the best thing to talk about all the time. There's never a time that we may face that we shouldn't declare the word of the Lord. The reality is, is that the word of God is, is the greatest thing that we could talk about in all seasons. You know, and I'm reminded today by that word by Apostle Paul. He told Timothy, he said, Timothy, he says, preach the gospel in season and out of season. Guys, brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you in this hour more than ever across the globe and every nation. The greatest thing that we could do is literally preach the word of God. I want to encourage you that morning as I was getting up out of the seat, I began to lift my hands up and I began to say, hey guys, beautiful people. I began to scream out, God loves you and I began to declare that Jesus died on the cross for their sins and and this is as they're pulling luggage down getting ready to leave the airplane and man I'll tell you the power of God hit that airplane you could feel the presence of God and people began to be truly touched by the Lord and I just want to encourage you no matter where you're at in life no matter what nation you're in what city you're in what type of job you have. It is always the best time. It is always the best thing to talk about, about Jesus. I want to encourage you, preach the gospel everywhere you go, everywhere in your life, Walmarts, uh, grocery stores, anywhere you go. I want to encourage you in this hour to declare the powerful message of the gospel. Think about in the beginning, how the Spirit of the God hovered over the face of the earth. And when the Spirit of God spoke, it began to create things. It began to call a chaotic world into order. And more than ever, that's what we need in this hour. We need the revelation of Jesus in the earth. We need to declare the gospel everywhere we go. So I want to encourage you in this hour. He told Timothy, he says, be prepared to preach the gospel in season and out of season. You know, we see in, in, in April where I'm from in South Carolina, man, the fruit comes, the, the, uh, the, the fruit comes on the trees, the, the, the flowers begin to bloom. All these things begin to happen in season. Well, guys, there are times in the winter here when the flowers fade and there's no fruit on the trees. But the Bible says that we're to preach the gospel in season and out of season. And guess what happens when we release the seed of God, the word of God? It's actually seed and it actually creates fruit. It actually creates and causes things to come into order. It gives identity to people. They actually began to understand who they are. They began to live as sons and daughters of God. But if we don't tell them, the Bible says, how will they hear unless someone preaches to them? Guys, I want to encourage you today. One of the greatest things we'll ever do is be obedient to the Holy Spirit, to be obedient to the commandment of God, to go into the nations, go into the nations and preach the gospel. I want to encourage you today. 
preach the gospel in season and out of season. Everywhere you go, preach the gospel. Bless you today in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to encourage you to tune in. I look forward to seeing you watch this amazing show and be set on fire. 